October 21st, St. Hilarion the Great. Hilarion the Great was an anchorite who spent most of his life in the desert according to the example of Anthony the Great. While St. Anthony is considered to have established Christian monasticism in the Egyptian desert, St. Hilarion is considered by some to be the founder of Palestinian monasticism and venerated as a saint by the Orthodox and Roman Catholic Church. Hilarion was born south of Gaza in Syria, Palestinia, of pagan parents. He successfully studied rhetoric in Alexandria. It seems that he was converted to Christianity there. After that, he shunned the pleasures of his day, theater, circus, and arena, and spent his time attending church. According to St. Jerome, he was a thin and delicate youth of fragile health. After hearing of St. Anthony, whose name, according to St. Jerome, was in the mouth of all the races of Egypt, Hilarion, at the age of 15, went to live with him in the desert for two months. St. Anthony's hermitage was busy with visitors seeking cures for diseases or demonic affliction. Hilarion returned home among with some monks. There, his parents having died, in the meantime, he gave his inheritance to his brothers and the poor and left for the wilderness. Hilarion went to an area near the port of Gaza that was limited by the sea at one side and marshland on the other. Because this district was notorious for thievery and gangs, his relatives and friends warned him of the danger he was incurring. It was his practice never to abide long in the same place. With him he took only a shirt of coarse linen, a cloak of skins given to him by St. Anthony, and a coarse blanket. He led a nomadic life and fasted rigorously, not partaking of his frugal meal until after sunset. He supported himself by weaving baskets. Hilarion lived a life of hardship and simplicity in the desert, where he also experienced spiritual dryness that included temptations to despair. He was beset by carnal thoughts, and he fasted even more. He was so wasted that his bones scarcely held together, according to St. Jerome. He finally built a hut of reeds and grass there in the wilderness, in which he lived for four years. Afterwards, he constructed a tiny low ceiling cell, a tomb rather than a house, where he slept on a bed of grasses and recited the Bible and sang hymns. He never washed his clothes, changed them only when they fell apart, and shaved his hair only once a year. He was once visited by robbers, but they left him alone when they learned that he did not fear death, nor had anything worth stealing. St. Jerome describes Hilarion's diet as half a pint of lentils moistened with cold water, and after three years he switched to dry bread with salt and water. Eventually, perceiving his sight to grow dim and his body to be subject to an itching with unnatural roughness, he added a little oil to his diet. After he had lived in the wilderness for 22 years, he became quite famous. Visitors started to come, begging for his help. The parade of petitioners and would-be disciples drove Hilarion to retire to more remote locations. But they followed him everywhere. First he visited St. Anthony's retreat in Egypt, then he withdrew to Sicily, and finally to Cyprus. There he died in the year 371. Many miracles were attributed to him. His first was when he cured a woman who had been barren for 15 years. Later, he cured three children of a fatal illness. He healed a paralyzed charioteer and expelled many demons. Great Saint Hilarion, you who are of Gaza and Palestine, please help the world at this time of strife, particularly the persecuted Christians in Gaza and Palestine.